Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to the biggest stars and some of my favourite people. And a man that everybody still loves now more than ever is Elvis Presley. There's a new show on the road through 2018 called This Is Elvis. This is his comeback 1968 special, which became the musical event of the decade. And it stars Steve Michaels, who is, let's face it, one of the best Elvis impersonators in the world. How are you, Steve? Very good, thank you. Well, people seem to find you delicious to watch. That's the first thing, isn't it? I mean, Elvis was a sex symbol, and without that, it ain't going to work. You, oh, well, you know what? It's uh, you have to have a little bit of everything, of course, and and uh, and if that's what people are saying, then my goodness, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, beyond everything else, there's the iconic image, which of course you've mastered, but the voice has to be there. I wonder what strain is on you. I've been a big fan of Elvis, and from time to time at karaoke, I'll try the odd Elvis number, and they're impossible, aren't they? They're really big, if not operatic, in places. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, of course, Elvis's voice changed so much over the course of uh, his lifetime, and uh, and the the parts that we're focusing on, this is Elvis focuses on, of course, is that 68 comeback special. His voice had matured completely, has changed, and uh, and it's just uh, it's a, it's just emulating uh, a different a different era a, as well as uh, our show. This is Elvis also spotlights uh, Elvis in Las Vegas, whereas he had yet another voice uh, all to his own and uh, and we do our best or I do my best to emulate uh, the sound from uh, from both areas there's nobody of that legend left now is there it was extraordinary his popularity his fame and the legend that he's left us with oh yeah I mean I can't agree with you more he uh, left us way far far too early he was mm. such a young man only 42 years old and uh, and because he left us so early and and everybody loved him so much we just couldn't let him go and uh, you know I often I often wonder uh, and and I hope that his star would burn just as bright but if he lived to 85 years old my goodness I wonder what his legacy would have become then mm. the best Elvis song ever was if I can dream you're going to agree with me aren't you Steve I uh, you know what I will agree with you because the, <laughs> the, the well the message behind the song is incredible but how they also got to that you know like the colonel wanted the 68 comeback special to be a Christmas show mm. and of course everybody including Steve, Steve Bender the, the director thought this was a horrible idea the song was supposed to end with a song that Elvis recorded I believe it was a Gene Pitney song called I Believe mm. and uh, and then of course they thought that this was not going to be this is not going to work uh, the writer of If I Can Dream went home uh, penned it the next day Elvis heard it and against uh, the uh, wishes of the colonel said this is the way it's going to be mm. and uh, and there we go there's history and uh, it, it is and it is such, it is such a beautiful song what's interesting the vocal from Elvis isn't perfect is it I wonder whether he was in a good place when he recorded it because it's a very raw if not the most raw vocal I think he ever recorded it's extraordinary Yes, well, and that's, uh, he was curled up in the fetal position on the studio floor mm. singing that song. And, uh, and, and uh, it's been documented, and that is, uh, and, and that's exactly where he, I guess he just felt he, he, he wanted this to be his message song for the world. Mm. And, uh, and, you know, and it definitely, definitely was. It's, uh, it, it captivated so many people. And my gosh, 50, 50 years later. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Why do I get a bit sad whenever I talk or think about Elvis? It was so sad towards the end. And when I hear Priscilla talk now, it was a tragic story, wasn't it? A man who had everything and nothing. Well, you know what? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, again, um, my sentiments uh, are uh, exactly because I think with Elvis, he was the first he was the first uh, teen idol. He was the first triple threat. He 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 was a, a rock star, and then he became a movie star, and then he became a rock star, and then he got caught up in everything that was, uh, you know, if, sadly say the uppers and the downers and the, you know, anything that was going to put him to sleep, wake him up. And he was the first to experience all of it, and then in excess. And, uh, and then unfortunately, I guess he was one of the first ones to really uh, 
really just sort of suffer from mm -hmm. celebrity. And, uh, and it, it's just very, very, yeah, it was very, very sad. Uh, <laughs> the the uh, side thing with it comes to our show, this is obvious, we're celebrating two exciting times of his life. We all know how the story ends, but we're telling a story that falls directly in between uh, between those events. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I just interviewed Engelbert Humperdinck about three or four weeks ago, and he yeah. told the great story of how they became friends and how Elvis came to see him and asked him if he could come back and talk to him after the show. I mean, can you imagine Elvis Presley asking to see your show and asking to meet you after it? Incredible. There'll never be another generation of star like that. No, no, and you know, and I believe the uh, I believe he he did that uh, with um, with Tom Jones as right. well yeah. uh, because uh, they too uh, met in, in Vegas, and there's a very famous picture of, of the two of them. Elvis goes on to quote himself jokingly introducing himself as Engelbert Humperdinck on on many of the uh, uh, <laughs> recordings. So you can see how they all they all well, they were just all great performance performers mm. and Elvis uh, as in life never stopped learning and right. uh, so he learned from all these other guys and in fact uh, now I could be mistaken but uh, um, Tom Jones was was, uh, was a dramatic actor I mean performer but he did a lot of movement with his arms and I believe it was the fact that again Tom had said, um, Tom Jones had said to Elvis Presley you know if you use your arms uh, you're not going to you're not going to tie yourself out now I do hope that I'm telling the truth right. <laughs> but I believe I believe I am um, I believe my source and what I've read is, is correct but anyway yeah 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 Just and Engelbert claims that Elvis nicked his sideburns idea he'd got the sideburns before Elvis if that's true that's the greatest story in showbiz ever isn't it <laughs> it could be yes it could be especially the very big pork chop sideburns that's right that's <laughs> Let's talk about you a minute, because, yeah. I mean, you, you chose this uh, vocation, really, and it's changed your life, and you've certainly become one of the best at it. As I mentioned earlier, an Elvis impersonator done badly can be one of the most ridiculous things and all biggest waste of your evening, but when it's done great, my God, uh, it can be wonderful. And I guess it's down to the vocal precision, and you have that. I've watched videos of you um, all over the world doing what you do, and you've really mastered the nuance, and it is about that, isn't it? It's about a little word here, it's about the way you look there, about what you wear, how you put it over, and of course, ultimately, the voice has to be spot on. It's, it's everything adds to the, uh, the character and illusion that you're creating. Uh, you know, uh, Elvis, Elvis had a way of uh, uh, pronouncing uh, certain words, and you need to emulate that. Elvis, uh, I find that with my, with my tribute to Elvis when I'm performing him as the stage performer, it's all of the smallest details that, um, that speak the loudest. Uh, and that's just the way you would, again, like you said, uh, push your lips, the way that you would look up above your, your brow, the way you would hold your fingers, the way that you would stand, the way you would, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's something that he did. And it's all this little minute details that make the performance so big and, uh, and not to, and not to, and, and, and to be, um, and to make sure that it doesn't become a caricature of the right. man, because the man was never a caricature of himself. Mm -hmm. So it's to make sure that you, you you focus in on that and never become a caricature. And again, that's what this is. Uh, this is Elvis is. It's such a, uh, a beautiful um, salute to the man on stage as well as as off stage. And never for a moment is it a caricature of the man uh, himself. It's just it's real. I wonder how many thousands of hours you've spent watching him, because that must be the only way you can master this. It is. It is. I, uh, I, 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 I watch and listen to him. If I'm not watching him, I'm listening to him daily uh, uh, as I prepare to get ready for the evening uh, events. Uh, I uh, have studied and watched and watched and watched. My, my mother, uh, the, I guess the thing, the only, the closest thing that I have based on Elvis's life is a very close relationship with my mother as well. And uh, my mother has been my, uh, my biggest uh, supporter uh, and my harshest critic because she too is an Elvis fan. And right. she would look at me 
me and say, you know, you, I think you got to get back and, and watch that, uh, you know, just focus in on this. And the, the biggest thing she ever told me was, as soon as you think you have it is the day you leave the business because you'll never have it because right. Elvis was just this being. And she said, you'll get close. And she goes, and that's what you always want to strive for. And I think that's the thing is just keep striving to be the best that I can be in recreating everything a fan wants to see. Hmm. And that is a reincarnation of Elvis the way they remember him. And, uh, and uh, when I'm on stage, I, I, I relive and, and try to be the man. Uh, but when I'm off stage, I am myself. Right. <laughs> Both don't, you know, one doesn't cross the other. You've mastered it so brilliantly. This is Elvis's touring the UK, and you can see Steve Michaels doing this. I wonder what your life is like as you, because you do look like him, and of course you've got the hair and all that stuff. Is your life as sexy in real life as Elvis's was? <laughs> I, I wonder, Steve. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, uh, I, would, I would love to say yes, but uh, I would be telling a little bit of a white lie. Uh, my, uh, you know, I have to say that uh, with the black hair and, of course, the sideburns and, and bearing a resemblance, that uh, there are Elvis sightings that, that do happen. I know that when I'm standing in, the, uh, in a crowd or if I'm on the tube, that uh, when somebody looks over at me and they kind of just kind of do a double take, I think to myself, there was an Elvis sighting that just happened. Uh, the, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a hazard of the job, you know, with these, when, when you have uh, black, black hair and sideburns. And, uh, but it's something that I, uh, I take in stride and, and enjoy. So. Well, congratulations on everything. I can't wait to come and see the show. You're touring the UK. I'll see you in uh, Wimbledon in a couple of weeks' time. You're in Blackpool uh, until tomorrow, then Edinburgh next week, Dartford, beautiful big theatres. You're doing Ellsbury's huge as well, Western Supermare from the 5th to the 10th of March, New Wimbledon when I'll see you 12th to the 17th of March, then in Birmingham, of course, Regents in Stoke on Trent, Cardiff, Liverpool, Woking, Leeds Grand, Sunderland through June, Brighton, Bristol and Torquay ending the tour on the 4th of August. It's been a real joy talking to you let's talk again in person and congratulations on mastering this art of Elvis you really pay tribute to him which is the greatest compliment I think for a show like this thank you for your time Steve oh thank you very much